Hi friends, this is tech expert Neil and you are watching howisall.com. In today's video, I'll share with you a secret Windows OS that does not come with any bloatware. And the best part of it is it is not a third party OS. It's actually made by Microsoft itself. I'll show you the comparison between a normal Windows 10 OS that Microsoft ships with all lots of bloatware like Cortana and God knows what, how many apps are pre-installed in the Windows 10 system and the tons of recommendation that it makes uh, irrelevant recommendations. So all those things will be switched off. Not only switched off, it will not be installed in the first place. And this Windows 10 OS is actually made for enterprise version. And the name of it is Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. LTSC stands for Long Term Service Channel. This operating system version of Windows 10 is made for a particular scenario. Basically in large companies, they have got lots of systems which might not be connected to the internet or very infrequently they will be connected to the internet. So these Windows 10 systems are designed in such a manner that they do not need to be updated that frequently. And this version of Windows does not receive that many feature updates. You'll still receive the security updates, but the feature updates are restricted. Apart from that, it has got several other limitations. Like if you want to use this system on your own home system, then the licensing for it is quite costly. It costs around 200 to $300 dollars to get the license, genuine Windows 10 LTSC Enterprise license. But you can test run it for a 90 days evaluation period. And I'll provide you the links for the original ISO file which Microsoft provides that is an evaluation ISO file which you have to reinstall after 90 days if you want to continue using Windows 10. Apart from that earlier when Windows 10 LTSC was released Microsoft also provided an ISO file which could be activated later on. So I'll provide you the link for that ISO file also but that ISO file is no longer being provided by Microsoft but it has been cached in the Wayback Machine or the archive.org website. So I'll provide you that link down in the video description. But to activate the Windows 10, you'll require an enterprise license. So with that limitation set aside, now I'll show you in a side-by-side -side comparison of how much bloatware Windows 10 comes by default and how little is there in this version of Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. Okay friends, so this is the normal Windows 10 version uh, this is a clean install i've just installed it on my virtual machine and you can see straight away how much things are there which are irrelevant and if you are anything like me i just hate all these add-ons which microsoft has added over the years so basically you can see over here this why is this task in the search bar we are getting this strange icons so like this if you click on this then it will you can see over here these are all the things which are not required in my case. These are just distractions. It's trying to be like an Android device which has got these tiles you can say. But these are all distractions for trending searches. Why I want trending searches on my desktop, trending video website. These are just ways for Microsoft to get a click onto their web browser and onto their sites like MSN and all those websites which they do not have traffic and they are trying to generate traffic from these, I can say shady methods. But anyway, this is one problem. And you can see over here, why is this temperature and all these things being mentioned in my taskbar? I never asked it to do it automatically is enabled. You can obviously switch off all these features, but Microsoft should not enable them by default. That's what they are doing at present. These features, if the people need, then it should be activated or they should be told that you can activate it but by default you're activating all these features which is very irritating apart from the resource consumption which we will see later on the these are extremely distracting and they do not provide any value addition to a normal user so anyway so this is one thing and why are all these apps installed okay this edge is we know all we all know edge is always installed and this is the only way we can download our favorite browser that is chrome or firefox whichever you want so edge is fine but apart from this you will see over here in the start menu you can see these games are there office onedrive onenote paint 3d skype 
I have never told it to install all this thing. It comes shipped by default. Sticky notes. This Xbox Y. But anyway, so this is all the bloatware scenario. Now let's switch to the version of secret version of Windows 10. That is the Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. And you'll so straight away you can see how clean the interface is. No relevant information, no bloatware whatsoever. And if you click on the start menu bang you can see only microsoft edge is there that is the only pre-installed software no other apps no trending no nothing no live tiles the cleanest os i've seen that comes by default from microsoft i don't know why they have not allowed users to use this as a default version of my windows 10 certainly that doesn't make business sense that's the reason for the windows 10 license to be so cheap i guess and that's why Windows 10 L Enterprise LTSC costs so much. So anyway, you can see only the things that are needed are provided. Notepad, Paint, Snipping Tool. So straight away you can see no bloatware, no Cortana, no nothing. Just Edge and you can install your favorite browser from it which is needed. Now we'll look at the hard disk space. How much difference is there in the Windows default installation in both the types. So we'll open up this PC and this is the Windows 10 LTSC as you already can guess from the taskbar and it uses around 41.7 GB is free I'm using both around 60 GB space in both the virtual machines so you can see it's around it's using 17.9 GB used space and let's now switch to the normal windows and you can see 19.1 GB and in the LTSC we have got 17.9 GB so around 18 so you can see that's not a very big difference around 1 GB in difference in the amount of disk space that the two versions are using obviously the LTSC version is using lesser space so space wise you can give both the OS almost same ranking they do not consume that much space okay friends now we'll compare the system resource requirements for both the OS so first we'll start with the normal Windows 10 and let's see how much RAM and CPU are being consumed by it. So you can go in performance and as you can see it's using around 0.9 GB or you can say 1 GB of RAM when on idle. And if I open the start menu you can see it bumped up to 1 GB. So 100, M 100 MBs were added. And if I open this run bar that is again added 1.1 GB and if I open this desktop okay so this is not having any consequence so you can see around 1 GB of RAM is being used on idle without anything open which is not that bad given so much uh, as soon as I open this it's bumped up to 1.3 1.2 1.3 1 so but when I close it you can see slowly it gets it will take some time and now you can see it has removed that from the RAM. So as soon as we click it, it adds all this thing into the RAM and it consumes around 200 MBs of memory. You remove it, that gets removed almost. Takes around 10 seconds and it gets removed. So that's how much uh, RAM is being consumed by the normal Windows 10 version. And let's look at the LTSC. So straight away we can see the difference. Around 300 MBs less is being consumed on LTSC, that is the standby RAM requirement. It's around 0.7 GB. When we open the start menu, you can see it bumped up 0.2, 200, 200 MBs were added, so it's now 0.9. We don't have anything over here. If I open the Explorer, you can see it hovering around 0.9. So let's wait for it to become at idle. You can see it's now gone to 0.8 so we can say around 300 MBs of difference is there in windows normal version and the ltsc version so again that's not a very big difference the main difference at least for me is in the user experience that is how much clutter you have got by default and how much work you have to do to get rid of that clutter and each update microsoft pushes those clutter even if you have turned it off, it will then automatically turn it on. If you have uninstalled an app, then it will again try to install it. <laughs> it's like a fight between me and Microsoft. So that's really annoying. 
like OneDrive never I don't use OneDrive so why should I install it I'm not using so why should I keep it installed but with each update Microsoft forces these apps on the users so that's something which I do not like at all about the normal Windows 10 version so this is a secret Windows 10 OS Windows 10 LTSC so I hope friends you learned something new and if you like this video don't forget to smack that like button share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified as soon as we release a new video this is neil signing off thanks for watching friends bye bye